What is up guys and welcome to the uh, seventh part I believe of the how to code a Minecraft kit server. What I want to do today is I will kind of want to uh, implement the ranks. Now I'll be doing a few uh, basic ranks with that and then um, I want to have whenever someone types in the chat I want to actually have color in there so we know who's like who and, uh, and stuff like that. So for that um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new package. Uh, we'll call it skit.util like utilities and we're going to eventually put a lot of shit in there oh no not oh sorry we need a new class file new class there we go and we'll call this just util uh it's up to you what you call it again but this is what i usually do now um we're gonna add a lot of stuff to this but eventually you know but right now i just want to make a uh a thing that allows us to get ranks uh when we uh, when we specify a name so when you get rank um, I will do player player uh, it's the easiest it might not be the best way to do it but it's it is the easiest all right so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with permissions you've all uh, you've you've probably all know uh, a plugin that does permissions like permission CX or uh, what is there group manager shit like that uh, I usually use permission CX if you are wondering and um, yeah so I think what we're going to do is first of all I, I want the uh, I want the owner me for instance I want that to have a, a dark red name so if player dot uh, get name dot equals we'll do my name Cyrilla there we go you can you can leave this out if you want but that's what I usually do I specify myself you know we need a little we, we need to be a little different from the others <laughs> um, and now we're going to do is uh, I'm going to return actually uh, we're not gonna make it a public void we're gonna make it a public chat color and then we'll just return a chat color which I will show you what it does eventually um, and then we'll make this get color because we don't really need the rank yet uh, because th we're going to use this for the actual chat you know the colors in there and stuff like that so um, for me uh, when I'm my name is Cyrillum I'm going to return chat color dark red and then do that and then uh, yeah we need actually we'll do check color um, let's make it gray you know when there's a player that doesn't have any ranks we're gonna just return and check color gray so that's that and we'll do uh, if player is op so we want uh, all the admins to have a a, a, a normal red name so we'll do check color return check color dot red so again basically what this does is um, when you I'll show you in a second what we where we're going to use this but we use get color and then we use the player and then this basically checks the player and then it, it returns the certain chat color which is going to be shown in the chat so if players up and then um, we'll, we'll do like permissions if player dot has permissions has permission um, I'm not exactly sure what permission we should do I'll just do skits dot um, I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll do MVP and VIP just for this case you can always add new ranks if you want to do that so we'll do that skits at MVP and then that will have a, a blue name and then we'll do uh, VIP if player dot as permission again this is the permission you need to add into your um, into your group of, of where you want the player to be in um, you, you, you have to use a different permission plugin for that so we'll do skits.vip and then we return the check color dark green and I'm making this up as I go so I will make mistakes probably but you know right now it's working out uh, so that's that it's quite simple actually and then we'll also like do uh, public. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we what we should do. Uh, I guess this is fine. I, I guess we just need to, the, the the name colors for now. And if we at a later state need more, we'll just make that. All right. So that's that. That is that. Now, basically, what the, I already explained it. But what this does again, it's. Uh, it basically checks the player you, you give the player you specify that and then it returns the check color that that player needs 
to have. So now we'll do um, at event handler public void on player chat player chat event. I believe this is it. Hopefully, yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, async player chat event. I think that is what you need, isn't it? There we go. Yeah. They they basically in in the new bucket update they made the uh, player chat event like in a, in a, on a different thread. So it's like um, not so so that's why whenever the server lags you can actually still speak in the chat because it's on a different thread. All right, so that's that. Um, we'll we'll get the player name. So player player is event dot get player. You all know that line. And now we have player, and then we'll do chat color. Um, chat color color I guess um, because I learned English like British there is color with a U in it for those that care about that and then we'll do uh, util we might actually have to make this static get color player yeah we probably have to make this static don't we uh, import util uh, that one and then we have to make this static yes so just do that and then that should be fine now we have the, the player name and we have the player color. Um, now what we need to do is get the event message. So string message is event.get message. There we go. And then <clears throat> all we need to do really is uh, event.set message. Uh, you can do it format, but you can also just do it like this. It's easier to do. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to have the color, chat, which is the chat color. We'll do the player name, player .get name, and then we'll do like what what I did in MC Combat. I, I basically put like that. We do need to have a chat color dot white, white. So basically, this is the format where the message will be. We'll do that, and then we'll do message. And basically what this does is uh, again it, it checks the player it checks the uh, the color of the player which we did earlier and then it, this is the string message with the, the message that the player sent <coughs> and then you uh, you set the event message to the check color plus the player name plus the check color white because you want the message to be white and then that is it uh, for that I believe now we're quickly going to test this uh, actually this is the first time I'm doing the code like that so uh, let's hope it works. <laughs> so we're going into local server, we're going to run it. And then we're going to launch Minecraft. So again, this is basically the stuff we all know, which I've done before. Uh, as gets enabled in the server lock, which is good. We're going to connect to local host. Local host. There we go. Uh, we died last time. <laughs> All right, and now when I whenever I speak in a chat, it should work. So I did just do that. Um, oh, I see. Uh, basically, we did set the message. So, like, whenever you do that, but we forgot to actually remove the, you know, the, the first part of the message. And for that, you do need to like work with the format. So one second. All right. So instead of this event that set message, because that actually only sets the message. Uh, we're going to have to uh, do something with the uh, format. So to set format. Now this is a little bit hard to actually do because uh, the format has a lot of um, like things you need to know before you can actually use it. Uh, that's why I kind of wanted to not use it, but apparently we have to. So again, we'll do. We'll start with the color, which is the, the color we need. And then what you need to do is you need to have the certain... But what Bucket did with the event that set format, they put certain like symbols kind of in uh, that allow you to uh, have the player name. So for instance, this, which is uh, percentage one dollar sign S. <laughs> and that basically um, does the player name. And now we'll do plus check color white, white. And I will do that. And then what the message is it's the uh, similar it's the percentage mark two dollar sign s now don't ask me why they put that in like that it's probably a, a, a perfectly fine reason but um that's basically how you do it now we also don't need the string message so again this is the color 
Uh, this represents the actual player name in game. Uh, this is the check color white because we want the message to be white. And then we do that and that is the actual message. So let's export it, see if it's working. Export, jar file, skits. There we go, finish. Yep. Well, slash reload. There we go. Now we're gonna test it. Boo. And there we go, it's working. So it's it's what I tried was a workaround, but it didn't work because it didn't remove the name in front of it. But once we set the format, it did work. And so you see, we, we now have the, uh, the the red name. Now I kind of wanted to uh, test the others, but I can't because it's like hard coded. So what I'm quickly going to do is I'm just going to um, make it like, let's see, we'll just remove this line that's us you know we'll just remove that quickly and then what we should have is a red name and skits there we go and we'll immediately put that back uh, we'll reload this is basically just testing purposes that everything is working so now if we do that we have a gray name because we're not up i believe yeah we're not up so that's good we have a gray name and now if we up ourselves in here Bob Surilum, now we should have a red name and that's working too. So that is, it, it, you might have thought that the uh, changing the colors in chat was hard, but it's it's quite easy actually. Um, so we basically remove that line quickly to see if it's not just that that's working, but the rest is working too. So again, if you want players to be an MVP and have a blue name in chat, you give them this permission, skids.mvp. And when, if, when you want them to have VIP, you just put the skids.vip in and it will allow you to give them ranks too. So that is that pretty much for this episode. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do next time. Maybe we'll do something like spawn, spawn protection or something like that. And uh, leave a like if you found this helpful or enjoyed the series. And I'll, uh, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.